Being a mom, it is something maybe as a little girl you dreamed about and then really looked forward to once you had a partner and were ready to start out in life. But then when those kids came, a whole different story, right? It's 24 seven, there are no breaks. There's really no appreciation as well, to be 100% honest, but we love them and we will do just about anything for them. Here's the problem. Every day in practice, the Center Spring MD, I get to meet moms, moms who are absolutely fatigued, have completely drained their tanks empty, and as a result, many other aspects of their lives are suffering, including their health. I don't want that to happen to you. I think it's important to be a mom. It's important to be a good mom, but to the point of giving up your health, your identity, your relationships, your career, and so much more, I don't think so. Because at the end of that journey, you don't want to end up bitter, unhealthy, or even alone. So I want to help us all. This is for me too, by the way, guys, I get sucked into this all the time. Really identify the signs of mom fatigue, signs that your health might be suffering or your you time might be too compromised. Here's the first one. You're just tired all the time, right? Mom fatigue is real. That feeling of just being tired. You don't even want to get out of bed in the morning. You know, you have to because there are obligations waiting, but that general feeling of fatigue is your first warning sign. So pay attention. Where is your energy in any given day? Are you ready to jump out of bed? Or are you waiting to get back into bed? That often is your first clue that you may have mom fatigue. Moving on from that, cognitive health. Are you having trouble focusing, concentrating, getting through a sentence, getting through a list, really having trouble with running your day. Maybe you might've even left somebody at the bus stop or forgotten a medication they were supposed to take. It's okay. These things happen because we are so overwhelmed and often so overburdened, especially the way we're raising children today, right? It's 20 activities, 20 different things to do, 20 pieces of paper, all kinds of digital stuff. It's hard, it's just hard. It's hard to keep it all together. But that cognitive fatigue, where the pattern becomes more repetitive, where you can't get through things, or even thinking becomes a challenge, that's a sign that you need a time out. You might need some rest. Anxiety is a big one. I see this one all the time. Everything from women feeling like they're having heart palpitations to really having ruminating thoughts. They're just overthinking things. They're worrying all the time. Now with both children, I've had moments where I've really, really been worried about them, right? To the point that I can't sleep at night or I'm constantly like researching things. That's natural for us as moms. We're only as happy sometimes as our happiest child but anxiety where it's interfering with everything else you're doing and you can't put some boundaries around it, right? Like I'm only gonna deal with this from 7A to 9 p.m. or whatever the boundary needs to be. That's a really long boundary, by the way. It doesn't need to be that long. Maybe it's 7A to 9 a.m. You have an hour or two to deal with a particular, see, I might have mom fatigue right now, but you have an hour or two to deal with a particular issue. You know, when you can't do that, when we can't put those boundaries around it and it's bleeding into every other aspect of our life, our relationships, our work life, and so much more, then we know we're having issues with mom fatigue. So fatigue, general fatigue, really having more anxiety, having issues with brain fog. The next one, pay attention guys, because this is where relationships go downhill. Your libido. If you are finding that you have no libido, that you are maybe having sex just to have sex and make the other person happy, but you're not engaged, you're not connected to your partner, well, that's a problem. And that means the children are taking over every bit of reserve that you might have. And it may be okay for a little while. And honestly, it's natural, maybe in those early stages of having a young child, but it shouldn't be going on for an extended period of time. And if that's happening, I encourage you to, again, take a time out and maybe take a time out with your partner to reconnect and understand where your libido issues might be coming from. Oftentimes for women, we are just exhausted and there's no ill will meant, but the person on the other side of the table is interpreting it as you're not interested or you're not in love anymore, or you've moved on or who knows what, and they take it as a license for their own lives. So pay attention please to low libido. And I think last, but certainly not least is just pain. If you're noticing that you used to work out, used to run, used to do yoga, used to do all these things and you felt energized and on top of the world and now that just wears you out, 
Well, they're early signs of inflammation. And this may be a later stage of mom fatigue. It may not be an early one, but it's still something we need to pay attention to. Because when those aches and those pains and those headaches and cramps and all that stuff starts to show up, it's a sign that the body's crying out for help and you need to spend more time on you. So wherever you are in your mom journey, I wish, I wish, I wish someone had prepped me, but I'm hoping I'm prepping you. It is important to take some time out, to take care of yourselves, really have alone time and even time with your partner and investigate and dig into your health. I always kind of find, it's not funny, but I always find it interesting that moms always bring everybody else in the family first into our practices and then bring themselves in last. It shouldn't be that way. We are the center, often the heart of a family. When we go down, multiple ships go down. So it's important to really take care of yourself. All right, I hope that helps explain what mom fatigue might feel like, what it might look like. And I hope that you really take this as a motivation to take care of yourself. If you like this video, remember I post new videos every week. Don't forget to like and subscribe.